Hello guys, what's up? This is Shark Talk and welcome back to my channel. So, it's been a while since my last video, as you guys may have noticed. Uh, if you watched my last video, you know something about what it was happening. I had to search for a job and I got a freelance job that I was working for almost two weeks straight to help me pay my bills because my financial status is not really okay right now. But uh, I just finished the work um, exactly like two days ago. So, I was trying to think about some stuff and also recording the story content of Ocarnatomia that I stopped recording so I'm now up to date that I just posted it on YouTube you probably know that by now and uh, I can record videos again next month it may happen again I will try to organize myself so it doesn't keep uh, two weeks without videos and I was also uh, thinking about a strategy to make this channel work better for me so I don't need to search for another work uh, or another jobs but um We'll know what happens. I have something for you guys, but I don't know if it will actually happen as I think uh, uh, or as I want it to be. But nonetheless, uh, just let's talk about Volcarna Tomia. I know that you're here for this. And I want to talk about the event that I missed. It. The Scarlet Gates was the event that I did miss. I didn't talk about it. I did talk about the Nebulous Shockwaves. That it's a very interesting event because it brought uh, Fang Arngreen. That it was a character that I was expecting. But uh, Scarlet Grace, Scarlet Gaze gives uh, a new character to the game that is a very, very incredible character. That is a very mysterious auto behind this character. And also, um, it's a very good character to be used as well. And you don't even need the orb of the character to make it work because it's a critical healer. Well, let's talk about the Scarlet Gaze event and a little more about the character. Well, uh, first of all, let's just talk about the character. I'll click here on Divine Weapon. So we can talk a little better of Shakugan. They keep the name that I was always saying on my videos. Shakugan is uh, a character that is a Valkyrie, but it's probably from another reality or something. Uh, I don't really understand how it works. You, if you watch the, the event, you will know that they are still not very uh, clear about what uh, this character is or not. But when we click on the Divine Weapon banner, you see that there's other characters alongside this character. It's very different this time. You have Shekugan, but you also have Kokuyo, Kokuyo Star, and also Dark Flower Cena. It's strange because Dark Flower Cena and Shekugan are both critical healers in this game. They are also both from the Dark Element, so they are kind of competing for the same slot sometimes. But you can also use both together and they work very well. So, well, uh, we already know how Dark Flower Cena works, how Kukui works, and how Shekugan works. But how do they affect the chance of you getting Shekugan? Well, there's uh, a little um, of effect here, but it's not as I thought. You can see, let's just go to the, to the bottom. And Shekugan starts with 0.6% chances of you getting it. And then when you get to step 3 onwards, it will be 1.2% chance. It's a little better than when Eventide Hackery got released here, because she only had 1% chances on the third step beyond. 1% against 1.2. But the thing is, if you have Dark Florocina and Kokuyo, you will be screaming here because you really don't want to get them again. Especially because uh, most people with Kokuyo are already maxed. Because he's a very good character and most people already maxed her, got her to 6 attacks and getting another artifact won't help you much. But uh, you have to remember there's a mechanic in this game that will be probably be released because there is this mechanic in Japanese version. That if you get another, yet another artifact for a character that it will give him uh, or her 50% elemental damage on his potential force board. So if you're getting uh, Kokuyos here, don't trade for Divine Fragments. Save them for the future. So, Shekugan Mask is very hard to get because of this. I don't really like this banner. I would skip it even if I had the gems because of this. Usually we have chances of two new characters and here we have only one new character. I already have these three characters here. I don't really have the Dark Flower Cena Orb. I really need it so she becomes a good uh, critical hit healer. But Shekugan is way, way better than Dark Cena and she's enough for most squads to heal back, you don't really need to use the two together. And let's just talk about Shek again now, so you can understand a little better. This was one of the characters that I was um, highly expecting to get released, but also uh, not so fast. The game is just progressing too fast for me, uh, I don't really like this aspect of this game. But well, you see uh, she has a very high status, she actually is a mag type character, she's not a physical damage dealer, she's a magical damage dealer. 
And it's actually a very good uh, change of pace because most characters in this game deal physical damage. And sometimes you really need to get more uh, mag damage with a good character. And then she is very nice because being a mag attack dealer, uh, she's also a um, Valkyrie. She can be used on the main slot. And being a critical hit healer is even better when you can use it on the main slot. We don't have any other main uh, slot character that can heal back uh, damage. We, all, we will get another character, the Black Valkyrie from the Lightning Element. She is also a Valkyrie and can also heal back, but not as much as Shekugan. So let's just check another things here. You can see that she has all magical type attacks and only the third attack called Orphan Cry is from the Dark Element. So she is screaming, give me a Dark Element staff. It is hard if you don't get her uh, the, the staff from her banner. I don't have many options because the, the staves from the Dark Element, only one is good enough and it's hard to get another one. And you can see she also has a Luna an Altar. This is the original animation attack, it's very impressive. I really like this character here because it's very mysterious. So now let's just talk about the passive of the character. We have Mask of Darkness, greatly increases mag and damage dealt by dark attacks. It's the same thing for all the third generation characters. The best passive is the first one, it increases more than doubles the, the, the aspect of the damage of a character. And we also have Nether Sight, and it's the most important uh, skill of this character because it recovers HP and deals increased critical hit damage, but it doesn't increase the critical hit chances. So she's very similar to um, uh, Leon because Leon also has the same thing that she recovers HP and deals increased critical hit damage, I think, but she doesn't increase the critical hit chances. So you really have to rely on having a very high easy going party skill to get more critical hit chances. Maybe also using the same equipment that you use with your uh, Leon. That it's, uh, let me show you guys here, the, the ones that I use with my Leon. Let me search for Leon here. I have a squad with Leon. So the best use of it is just to use two weapons that increases critical hit chances as a sub weapon. So here you can see, this is not the, the, the weapons, uh, let me search for another squad that has Leon, maybe it doesn't have. So we will, let's just click here and search for Leon so we can explain it better. So it's the same equipment I was using with Leon, it's a little harder to equip because you really have to get these weapons. There are not many options to get increased critical hit chances. So you have uh, great sword that are very good for this, let me search for it. It has Spears Ward Missile Tank, but it's a very, very hard weapon to get because it has Professional Wide that improves Critical Hit Hate. We also have the very incredible Dragonius Halberd that increases 3% chances. You can use this uh, as subs, you can also try to search for orbs that have increased, increased Critical Hit chances. Maybe there are more weapons that increase Critical Hit chances, but I'm not following here. So, well, uh, Getting these uh, sub weapons will greatly help your Shekugan to perform better. She's not a character that you will uh, be a, a new player in the game and start getting the most of it. You will have to slowly build it because of easy going part of skill. It's very hard to get. Some characters are not available anymore. You won't be able to get the max out of it. Uh, like when you we go here to edit party, you will see part of skill and easy going mine. Easy going is maxed right now because of the five characters I have. But this character here is not available anymore. You only have this four here to get it, and you will only get 8% chances from these four characters. And the max is 15%, but you also have to get another character called, the, um, if I don't remember correctly, it's Christmas Nord. And Christmas Nord is also not available anymore. Hard to get this top, but if you're a new character, uh, a new player, you will have a real hard time getting this uh, easy going uh, to max level. Getting back here on Shek again, let's talk about the, the last things about her kit. But the most important thing was talking about the critical hit chances because we really need this. Now let's just go to the, fifth, uh, the, the third page again and check here. Uh, her last passive is Sinful Pleasures that increases the all status and guard hate of the character. The guard hate is incredible because it's uh, she's a mag damage dealer and mag damage dealers hardly have guard, uh, good guard hate. And it's very good to have this on the character. So uh, it's the same thing as Divine on most Valkyrie uh, characters. They always have this type of thing that increases based on Purified Gorge. And lastly, we have uh, the limited skill increases Mag and Mag Defense. Mag is good because it will also increase the damage, and she's also good to uh, face content that inflicts Mag damage. So she's good to inflict and also against Mag damage. 
And well, lastly, she has ASC Dark that increases dark action damage by 10%. You can just switch this out for AS Burst to get 20% instead of 10, but it's not really needed because she's not exactly the main damage dealer of our squad most of the time. So, okay, we just close here, and she also will work on any squad, even if it's not dark, unless that the boss uh, kind of counters some type of elemental damage. Okay, so now we will just have to talk about the weapon, uh, Urs Kazaba. Let's just click here on uh, Final Weapon Traits, we will see more information about the weapon. Uh, the information about the weapon is not here. Uh, uh, maybe uh, they, they are giving a wrong link. It uh, always happens. Yeah, uh, you can see the weapon here. So we will have to go to the notice and see the information there. They, they just give you a, a wrong link. So let's search here on the Scarlet Pep Up Divine Weapon here. So let's just check the weapon itself. It's um staff, uh, even through it looks more like a Reaper. And it deals a colossal magical damage to all enemies with three uses. It's the standard right now. Most weapons will be like that, unless it's a different banner or Valhalla Assault banner. And it also has the increased normal attack damage of dark attacks by 10%. It's just like Kokuyo's weapon, the Mice X. But yeah, we have this information. It's nothing different than that. It's just for more normal attack damage. I prefer the, the, the increase on the general damage instead of only normal, because it will reduce the action skill damage or even the purify attack damage and she has good purify attack damage and also can be used for action skill damage because of her passive so this is not exactly the perfect weapon for her we will probably get another better dark staff in the future but it works for now okay so this is the only information we have about this weapon this will also get more increased draws from the event and that's it so I really wanted to this to have some critical hit uh, chances passive on this weapon but it doesn't have so we will have to rely on this so, Shekugan is exactly one of the most important characters in the game, sadly, she's a little limited, she will come back on special banners and th things like that, and I will uh, kindly wait for her to come back because I really like this character, but it's not the best banner to get her right now. I know this is coming a little too late, you probably already soon it, so please say here in the comments if you got this character, if you're trying to get, and if you were lucky or not. So now we'll just talk about the, the event itself, the Scarlet Keys. Well, I will have to make another video about this. I didn't even clear the challenge tree, I don't know why. So, uh, this event here is a little different. Uh, this event is a very, very far in the schedule of the Japanese version. What happens is that this event is like um, month 7 of the year 3 of the Japanese version. So, you, you understand that we still didn't get to uh, reach one year on our global version. So what happened is that this boss recommend mine is saying 170k, but it's probably way more than that in the damage. And also the status of the boss was not uh, exactly uh, balanced for our version of the game. And I will make a video trying to explain a little better and why we don't do uh, much damage to this boss and the reasons why, the reasons behind it. So uh, the thing is, let's just talk about the, the event itself. There's only one part of the story. It ends here on the first part on Looming Dagger. And then the Scarlet Gaze challenge and the other stage doesn't have any story-related content. And also, uh, at least this time, you see the, the recommend mind for this EX hard stage, the recommend mind of 50k, uses only uh, 6 AP. So you farm this stage instead of this other one because the bosses have very, very large amounts of HP and it will take forever for you to farm. Same thing as this challenge 2. That's probably why I didn't finish the challenge 3, because I'm farming on challenge 2. So uh, we will just give a look on the exchange booth. I still didn't get anything from this shop. I was just farming a little. I didn't have the time to farm everything here. So you will see, they still have all of seals here. You should get it <laughs> as soon as possible. Key of Guidance, uh, not so important for your players, but very important to everything everyone else but look at the amount of coast here only 200 it's very low i don't know why uh, but i think it's the first time that it's costing just 200 it usually costs 1000 so maybe they are changing this for better i think but they also should have just reduced the cost of this uh follows us because it's still only one point for your uh hero value of her character it's just too much investment. And you have Yggdrasil branch with the same amount of coast as Lawis, the gold bangle coast still the same, the silver bangle coast is still the same, and we have this new weapon here, this uh, 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 small sword, but it's 
like I said most of the time, this is only for new players that don't have the coverage of the element. We're just straight for 100 Divine Fragments. And then we have Gold Scrolls, Silver Scrolls, still closing the same thing. I still think they cost way too much. And get the orb. Uh, the orb is even more important than the scrolls here. And it costs less. And uh, lastly, we have Awakening Ember. Five Memory Books, five. People are asking for more of these books because it's very hard to get it. Very hard to get as well. And now let's just get to the second part. Uh, well, yeah, we will reach the second part. We have more so five Vital Seals, two we'd rather make, equalizing uh, three from the shop itself. I know that there's more from the event. I think there's five to total. We have two more Gold Scrolls, Silver Scrolls, Awakening Garnet, Embers. Still a lot of things to farm, guys. Because um, at least the, the name of this book, five, is 150 here instead of 200 as it normally costs. And I don't think the huge experience be this worth all that much, unless you are farming with the weapons from the event. And then last, uh, lastly, we have free skills. Stuff that you always know that you only need to get this if you really are a um, hardcore player. Okay, so now we just finish all the explanation and all the things of the event itself. I don't think there's a need for explaining how to beat these stages because, well, you can simply get your character, uh, a very strong character from a friend. You know that there's a, a strong player's list. I always make on Reddit, It's I always also post here on my channel, so just use it to clear all the first thing on the EX stream, the 100k recommended mine. Just use Actron skill damage finish and then farm the recommended mine 50k 6 AP stages. This is way better, less time costly and you feel better. And we will talk about this challenge here on the next video. So uh, thanks for watching this video, sorry again for not being... Um, on YouTube recently because I really couldn't, uh, I like I said, uh, unfortunately the channel didn't work for me as I wanted, I had to look for outside jobs to pay my bills, it happens, so guys if you really want, want or you, you can, you can just help the channel grow and uh, it will really help me keep making videos, you can be a patron, you can just uh, use the link on the description and help me with uh, as little as one dollar or even uh, give me a uh, any value by PayPal, there's also a link here, but only if it doesn't cost you uh, something that will be missing. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see each other on the next one. Bye.